Hello there and welcome to another one of our Lexical Lab One Minute English videos. If you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website www.lexicallab.com to find out more about our online English language lessons. For me, usually, whether I'm teaching in a real physical bricks and mortar classroom or whether I'm teaching online, usually via Zoom. I like to get to class early as it gives me a chance to ease myself into the lesson. And when students turn up early, I can chat a little bit, find out a bit more about them, which is always interesting and useful when teaching. Yesterday, I got to one of my Zoom rooms a little bit early and managed to catch up with a student who'd turned up six or seven minutes before everybody else. As we got chatting, I asked how she was, and she replied, Ah, OK, all things considered. I mean, I've got all kinds of crazy stuff going on at the moment, but I'm bearing up OK, I guess. If you say that something is OK or good, all things considered. You mean it's okay or good, even though the situation isn't perfect. You often then go on to explain in what ways the situation isn't perfect. So if a friend of yours had a party over the weekend, you might ask, hey, how did the party go? Oh, pretty well, all things considered. I mean, I didn't have as much time to prepare things as I'd like to have done, but everyone seemed to enjoy it, so, you know, I can't complain. You might ask a friend, how's business your end? And they might reply, yeah, pretty good, all things considered. I mean, Covid has hit us for six a little bit, but we've managed to survive. We're weathering the storm OK, so, you know, can't complain. If you've enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends, your students, your colleagues. Make sure you click the like button, the thumbs up button, as it helps us with the algorithm. And in the comments section below, we'd love to hear examples of things that you think are good or okay, all things considered.